I'm stoked how it came out. Now we gotta head over to Nico's and start working on the S15. And we're here, and the S15 is here too. It looks like this, but get a good look at this, guys, because this thing is getting a full makeover. I think I'm gonna start with a nice pressure wash because this thing is dirty. Let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned. Oh my gosh, look how good that is. Look how clean this engine is. That's what's crazy. So as you guys know, it's a spec S that came with the NASR. This guy swapped in an S15 SR with the six speed trans. And I'm pretty sure it came from a new S15 with low case, maybe like 2002, I don't know. Who knows? You never know with these cars, but engine runs superb. Only thing I am not happy about is when I started pressure washing, the paint started to come off. Looks like there was a little bit of repair history here on the core support. Frame seems straight, but definitely has been a drift car once in its life. Anyways, I think I'm gonna do my magic and mask this off and go ahead and spray it. So far, so good. This thing is already coming along. Give it a little pressure wash. Still looks ugly, but hey, we're getting somewhere. Definitely need to do some harness relocation. I don't know if I'm gonna go that far with this car. This is located inside the fender well and it always rubs when you drift so a lot of people do this they cut it in half and they reroute it or they undo everything and pass it over the top i honestly hate this there's other ways to do it but a lot of drift cars you see have this and i think it is absolutely hideous but what can you do i don't know if it's worth my time to relocate that whole harness not a big deal it is nice because i have rubbed through these harnesses and it is a nightmare to put these things back together. All right, I'm gonna do a little quick spray on this core support real fast. Let's get this thing done. So after painting it, I kind of just split it right there and I really don't like that. It's just this paint wasn't really ruined. So I figured why paint it and I'd have to take off the fenders and all that. But eventually I have to take off the whole front end fenders, headlights and everything. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I did to my other car and spray all the underside black. So as of right now, it'll do. That paint chip was just bothering me. This new like chipping coat, wrinkle coat type vibe. I really like it lately. It hides most of the dents. I mean. Not really on camera, you can see quite a bit of dents, but drift car, we're getting there. I noticed this little hot pipe was pretty dirty, so I got some heat spray. Let's go. Boom, perfect. Looks OEM now. It's the little things, guys. I know it's getting old, but I'm pretty proud of myself. You can't really tell, but I can tell. I'll put a before and after picture right here. There's quite a difference. I rewired a bunch of stuff, boring stuff. I didn't film it. I painted these things black. Yeah, I basically just tucked a bunch of stuff and it came out so much cleaner. It looks amazing. Still don't know what to do with that harness. I am freaking so happy with how this is coming out. Next, exterior, what I'm most excited for. Hold up, I just realized how much of an eyesore this hood is. I think I need to spray it real quick. All right, that'll do. Way better. This car's coming along. Okay, now, exterior. Front end is off. That wasn't that bad. Took me a little longer than I expected, but we still got the rear to do now. Well, we ended up in the south of Chiba. Kisaraze area to buy something pretty special. A customer has been looking for one of these. It is a supercharger four wheel drive Subaru Sambar, which is actually very, very rare, believe it or not. There's not too many of them. I've been looking for a while now and finally came across one, but this thing is very cool. Leah's making a deal right now. Just pick this thing up. I'm gonna drive it home, but it's actually pretty fast. A little supercharged K truck. We did it, boys. We bought a K truck. This thing's pretty cool. Yeah, so the Supercharger is quite the rare model. I've been looking for, I'd say, almost a month now, and I cannot find these things. So Leah luckily found this thing from a private seller. So when we can't find them at the auction, we do outsource and try and find them locally. 
So luckily this thing wasn't too far. I think we scored big time with this one. It's exactly what the customer wanted. Yeah, I just wanted to film this because we also do K-trucks too. We've done them in the past. We don't do them too often, but if this is something you guys are interested in and this is more within your budget, then hit us up. We can source you one of these. They're wrecking really cool, really fun to drive. This thing's supercharged, like I said, so it gets up. It's pretty sick. Guy installed a little RPM gauge right here. That's pretty cool. This thing is four wheel drive, has AC. It's the perfect K truck in my honest opinion. But well, we're headed back, most likely gonna go to Nico's and get this thing fully maintenance before it goes off to California. I think it's going to Cali. Yeah, it's going to Cali. So we've got an hour drive home. We'll see you soon. Okay, scratch that. Leah wants to stop at this temple or something. So I figured I'd do a little walk around of the car and I gotta take some pictures for the website. All right, there it is. Look at this little four banger, or three banger. 660 cc supercharged. I don't know where the supercharger is. Oh, it's up here, I think. I think it's right up there or something, but this thing is super clean. I like how it's rear motor. Normally, like the K-Van, it's right underneath your butt. Yeah, I was really surprised. This thing is very clean and the bed is actually really clean as well. Seems like it's been covered. And he gave us a free set of wheels too. Yeah, so this is the Subaru Sambar 1995. I honestly think these things are cooler than the Actis. The Actis are super hype, but supercharger, K-truck, five speed, AC, what more can you ask for? This thing is perfect. Customer did want to put some wheels on this thing before we send it out, so maintenance, wheels, we got you guys on that. If that is something that you are interested in, we do offer those services. So be sure to hit us up to get yourself a K truck from Japan or a K van or any car. You know what to do. Anyways, this is a little temple or something. Are we going in? From here? Cool. We're gonna go in. I guess I'll take you guys with us. We are right here. Look, they even have a picture of the Prius and the K. <laughs> I don't know what all this is. We're gonna find out, but this is the main temple. Super random. I'm just driving by, but I guess we can get some cinematics. Stop the cinematics just so we can explain what's going on here. This guy probably never sees anyone. He's coming back, I should film him. But he was just explaining to us everything. And we ended up getting these things that you hang in your cars, like for good luck charms. Mm -hmm. But I just think they look dope. I'm not really into religion type stuff, but. <laughs> but the omamori is sick. It's sick. Yeah. And they have a bunch and they all have different meanings. like. This one's for like pregnancy and this one's for like road safety and like this one's to protect you in your workplace type stuff. So everything has a different meaning. And they have these guys that you put, what do you write on the back? So you write your wishes for next year and you burn it. And yeah, I don't know, there's some crazy stuff, but this stuff is sick. These things are expensive though. Like these are 300 bucks, these guys. And he gave me a free bracelet because he likes me so much. <laughs> I want one more. This so cool. When you write your goal, you need to make sure your heart is calm. Okay. Hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
なんか自分の方にカーあるんですよ。ああ、そうですね。うちにね、うちがこっち見るんでね。Okay. Okay. 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 はい。<laughs> All right, I have to video. He came out and he's opening up the room for us because no one's here. What? This is probably so much money in here. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it looks crazy. Everything. Everything's gold. It'd be crazy if this was real gold and I didn't even know it. I don't know what all that is. This is gold up. These mats. That was too cool. Back at it. It's not coming. Smoke shower. All right, we're back with the cinematics. I hope you guys enjoyed the cinematics. My phone died. But we're at the yard and slowly starting to fill up here. K truck's there. We also took delivery of the Stagia. This thing was dropped off to me while I was out. This is going to be a domestic sale. So if you guys are looking for a car in Japan, you live in Japan, hit me up. We also do that too. So a customer wanted an automatic non turbo Stagia, just a nice family car. And this thing we picked up is. So nice, 20,000 original miles. And it was fairly cheap. So, if this is something you guys are interested in, definitely let me know. Anyways, we'll be taking this thing over to Nico's, get some maintenance done, and more jamming on the S15. He's Mr. g o s a i k a everyone. Me is. Can you put on subtitles? <laughs> Mr. Five Year Old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're back here, and I need to finish up the rear end now, so. Rear panels, trunk replacement, tail lights, rear bumper. Front end is done. That's all good. Interior, we still gotta put some seats in, clean it up a bit, put the wheels on. I got something special for this thing. And、uh, I think I'm gonna start jamming right now then. We got it kind of good. I mean, I could have cut everything like you're supposed to do and weld it and do everything, but I think the main goal here was to seal it up. I don't know why the previous owner cut this part, so I'm gonna have to do some tape here, but I'll figure that out. But for the most part, we are fully sealed. Shouldn't be any smoke in the cabin if you go drifting. Doesn't look the best, but that's why we have over fenders right here that we're gonna throw on. Other side was a bit better. Looks like he. I already started to cut a couple of the tabs, but kind of gave up halfway. But I ran out of caulking, so I had to use a different color. That's why we got brown, white, black, whatever. I think I might spray it before I throw the rear fenders on. It'll do. We are fully sealed up. That was the main goal here. All right, we're getting there. Let's go ahead and open these up. Cool. So we got these things already painted, as well as the rest of the kit. All right, let's throw it on.
far, so good. It's taking me a little while, but we're getting there. Jammed on the interior a bit. I'm gonna put in the stock steering wheel. Got that gauge in, got the rear seats in. This thing's coming along. I still gotta do the front bumper. Still gotta do that side. Looking pretty good. Still gotta do some spacers in the rear. Dial it in a bit, but I am liking the way this car is coming out, guys. Let's get this stock steering wheel in. So good. I think that's all this thing needed. A little bit of OEM plus the steering wheel, shift knob. All right. I still got a jam, but it's getting dark. What are those? We still got to put the skirt on, the fender, the bumper. Ugh. I'm gonna keep jamming. I don't know if I'm gonna film it. Let's just finish this. Well, last night I finished it up. I mean, kind of. There's still a little more things I got to do, but she came out so good. That was a good makeover. Two day job and we've got her looking this good. Obviously the TEs complement the car a lot and you know, unfortunately I'm not gonna sell the car with the TEs because I wanna put these on my car, but I had to throw them on just to get a little idea of how it was gonna look and it came out so good. The trunk, I don't know guys, I think I might just end up having to leave the trunk on because it is paint matched kinda to the roof and if I throw the pink trunk on, it's gonna throw everything off. I mean, this stuff can be fixed. I am looking for a stock trunk because the pink one also has holes in it, but it'll do for now. I wasn't really filling the duck bill, but it kind of gives the car a little bit of a vibe. So we'll see. I don't know. As of right now, I still got to do the maintenance on this thing. I've got the interior looking freaking perfect. It's all back to OEM spec and the engine bay obviously had a nice little makeover. So that's good. It's unverified miles because it is a swap, but it was a verified swap. So an actual shop did it and it passed regulations for it to be street legal. So I know it was done properly, but I've never seen an SR head that clean. This thing has got to have less than 50,000 miles on it. Made me feel a little bit better about the swap. I still got to throw the Sylvia badge on. I do have that, but yeah, it's looking good. That perfect drift spec fitment. I was thinking about taking some camber out of the rear just to fit it out a little bit better and maybe lower it. I'm not too sure. As of right now, I am very happy with how this thing came out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and you know what to do, hit me up. This thing is for sale. Hopefully by the time this video drops, I will have a for sale post on ASAP and you guys can go ahead and buy this thing. Also, I might be looking into paint matching it. So we can do that for extra costs, but if you want it as is and you want to paint it once you get it and make it your own color, that's always an option. Anyways, I'm here at the yard. I gotta do some maintenance on this thing. Let's go. I was able to paint all inside the fender wells. This thing has a pretty good angle kit on it. It's got some tension rods, D-Max tie rods. Not bad. It's all clean now, all painted. It also has oil cooler and they relocated the oil filter. But this thing has some goodies. Fatty oil cooler right here. Got a catch can. I'm learning more and more about this thing the more that I look at it. It's got some aftermarket knuckles it seems like. Skid racing tension rods. D-Max tie rods. We've got solid rack bushings, it seems like. And some Yashio factory coilovers. The rear coilovers are tame. And it's also got upper camber arms and rear toe arms. So this thing has everything you need for a fully functional drift car. Anyways, oil change. Almost done. A little bit different agenda today. We've got this Honda N1 that we need to dispose of because it's totaled and we're here at the wrecking yard. I don't know if you guys remember from how many vlogs ago, but it's that wrecking yard that just freaking forklifts cars and stacks them on each other. This is insane. All these wrecked cars. Gonna add to the collection. Loading the K truck up and we're going to pick up another car. Stay tuned. We at the scrap yard and there's so much scrap. Picking up something. Go get it. This car has been here for a while and I'm excited to see it. And this is the K truck that we bought. We're gonna bring it to go shop and get full maintenance before we send it off. Actually, there's two cars that we came here to check out. One is the 34 GTR that's still getting painted, but I wanna see the progress. And the other one is the F. D. Do you guys remember this thing? It used to have VBS on it. Don't mind the height. We had to raise it because it's going to Cali, I believe. 
but the customer wanted the new front bumper because it had that other front bumper I'll throw in a picture right here and he wanted that OEM look and they absolutely killed it this thing is amazing oh my gosh I want to keep it <laughs> anyways glad this thing's finally done GTR this thing got a full grease spray fresh white oh it's so good they got rid of all the little scratches and dings and dents I wanted to make this car perfect and this one will be up for sale. This should be done within the next week. I think they're just finishing up a little bit of the aero pieces and then they have to install everything. But yeah, this thing, OEM white, baby. Almost done. I found the arrow in the corner. It's so freaking good. Everything I wanted, they paid attention to detail. So perfect. Look how cool this is. They matched it so it looks like a really long diffuser. So good, everything I wanted. They did it perfect. They got the matte door cover thingamajiggers. They fixed the front lip. This thing was all split. Fixed that. They made this black so it looks like a diffuser. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. It's so good. Check this thing out though. I miss mine. Uh, I've been wanting to get another one. It's just, when would I really drive this thing? I remember mine drove so bad because it's just so old. It looks like they're doing some repair work here. It looks like the old fender had fiberglass in it. Oh my gosh, this is pretty bad. But this body shop is so good. Nico's uncle is absolutely killing it. This place is always packed though, so you're lucky to get your car into here for paint. <laughs> this thing up now but this thing is insane and I want it with a freaking carbon roof full race car what is going on they said it's for sale should I hop on the Porsche game this thing is freaking cool <laughs> it's a full race car though no interior let's get out of here I can't leave he's trying to sell it to me I think I want to buy it super clean I don't even know what I'm looking at, but I know these things are expensive. I think I'm gonna buy it. Okay. What do you guys think? Should I just freaking send it? 70,000 Ks, like 38,000 miles or something? This little cage in there already. I think I might freaking pull the trigger on this. I'm gonna do a little bit more research tonight, but he has two of them that he wants to sell. And I think I wanna see the other one first, but this thing's ready. Bring it straight to the track. Look at this carbon roof. Look at that. Freaking race car. I'm really sold on it, guys. I've always wanted one. This could be it. He's trying to sell it to me. Oh my God. Street legal as ETC. I don't even know what this is. What are you? E brake? Must be. Ah, oh, this is too good. sequential mission and a crazy straight pipe. I'm speechless. And he gave me an offer. If I buy both of them, he'll give me a freaking insane deal, which I might, I can't say no to. It's insane. They just want them gone. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I need both. I need to research though. I have no clue what I'm getting into. Well, I'm still deciding whether to pull the trigger on Porsche. 
but today we're going to look at another car, which is a, I'm not even going to tell you guys, you're going to see it here in a second. It's from a dealership. I've never been to this dealer, but it seems like they have a bunch of cool cars. So I'm going to film it, but if all goes well, we'll be walking away with a new car today. Hopefully, I don't know. It was between this or the Porsche. The Porsche is kind of really want it, but is it practical? Probably not. It's like a full cup car, so I don't know. We'll see. We're pulling up soon though. You guys can check out this and comment below what would be the better buy. Hey, already with the lawyer. They got a bunch of 86s here. And a nice little Supra. Where's the owner? <laughs> We got a bunch of cool cars though. Over there. There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, so recently I've been looking for a Supra and this thing is checking all the boxes. I'm gonna do a little walk around and check it out a bit. Pretty freaking good. Interior is checking out for me. It does have the six speed Getreg, so that's awesome. Um, they think it's original. Okay. Like, they don't really have that much Okay. Um, yeah. Looks pretty cool. 